Welcome back viewers to an episode of Dao Seer in Uniting the Tribes. Or shall we call ourselves Arabia. I believe this shall be the last episode, or at least last recording session for me, on this particular campaign, because I doubt it's going to last much longer than this. Because all we need really is a bunch of stuff from Spain, uh, most of Spanish uh, colonial coffee producing provinces, and of course uh, one province from Portugal, which is just ethnic if I remember right. Of course right now we are focusing on Spain. I don't want to have too high war score against Portugal, although I doubt I'll become an issue considering Portugal owns all of this as well. Which looked visually impressive and actually is quite impressive because the actual land is quite significant. You can see they've stated most of this except for the uh, trade company regions in the Ivory Coast. <clears throat> Anyway though, let's carry on. Uh, spies by improving of Dutch Columbia for really no reason whatsoever, but whatever. And I'm currently trying to siege down the Castilian um, capitals, uh, what am I trying to say, colonial capitals. And I have a couple of armies here and we have huge amount of revolts in New Dawasir, our vassal. So, let's deal with these revolts. I believe you guys are trying to build a new army. This was supposed to be a new army. Uh, let's merge these two armies together and try to deal with these revolts. It's pretty bad. Okay, let's unpause. Double check, where's my boat? My boat's over here. Yeah, let's unpause. Conversion complete. Well, good, I guess. And we can pick up a new uh, this thing. I'm actually not that convinced that it's all that useful. Uh, what, what do they call it? Um, these inviting a scholar. I can see its use. Like for example, inviting development cost minus ten percent can be useful uh, when you're trying to force an institution to spawn their own lands. But most of them are really crap. Like the, I don't think their effects are worth fifty admin. It is fifty admin, isn't it? Yeah. It's 50 admin. I mean, I, I think I've tried to convince myself before that admin tech cost is just barely worth it, but at the same time, it's just not worth it enough. And definitely not in late game. Early game, just barely perhaps, but definitely not in late game. Merchants plus one, I can never see that being worth it because you're literally trading 50 admin for a few extra ducats a month. Okay, if you really need, barely need an extra merchant, it'll be more. And development cost is really the only way I can see being worthwhile. There's a few other Shia ones which aren't too bad. But again, I don't think they're worth 50 admin. Anyway though, let's carry on. I'm so sorry. Uh, you two can merge up. There's a lot of colonial armies merging together, so I should be slightly concerned. Oh well, whatever. Everything shall be fine. Infiltrates found by Portugal. Uh, whatever. You do whatever you want. Okay, you two. Let's head over here to Konya. We'll smash some Ottoman rebels. Fortune of the Siege, excellent, it's the capital of Spanish La Plata, which means the silver. Rio de Janeiro has been sieged down, which means River of January. I don't know much Spanish, but I do know a few of these place names and their meaning behind them. Just because, you know, I'm the kind of person, I'm just interested in general about geography. Uh, you can't go up there and smash the army and then come back down. I only have two armies here? Hmm, interesting. Uh, you are doing nothing, so why don't you two give me a general. And what I might actually do here is... See if I can just... No, just stay and kill it, it'll be fine. Who's occupied this? Arabia. Oh! New Dao Sierra is going around occupying. Well, excellent. You can stay down here because we will be seeing revolts. Well, maybe not right now, but at some point. This is surprisingly green. Why is it so green? We still have trouble succession crisis plus 10, so why is it so green? That makes no sense. That's actually quite amazing. That I look at this and it's all green. That doesn't seem right. I need an army up here, but I'm kind of short on troops right now. Okay. Back to over here. Uh, no, back to over here. Yes, you go up there, and I think I was going to have you ditch your general, which I already have, and I'm going to bring a general over to here. 
And we managed to smash some armies for three uh, war score. Oh, that was fast. That was literally one tick. Uh, let's not scrub too much, just in case uh, they, uh, we do run into a real army. And they do have a few decent sized stacks around here, so I do have to be a little bit wary. And I'm actually kind of glad uh, Austria is sieged down Lisboa. We'll get, we'll get taking war score, amongst other things. Uh, Russia is still struggling against Ming, but whatever. It's Russia's problem. Hmm, 28th, huh? <laughs> 28th, huh? Oh, that's just too good. And we're going to catch the army here because they arrived literally on the day of defeat. Which is kind of funny, really. Uh, yes, I still want to see this pop up when it happens. Uh, see, there we go. So an army. It's not much of an army, but it's an army. It's got to be a little bit wary. If I had sent a five stack out there, that would have been uh, demolished. Uh, yes, keep giving me legalism. Ming is doing stuff to me. I don't appreciate it. I have rebel uprising to places I don't want to know about. <sighs> New pay, so a piece with Katsina. No, I've actually been thinking. It's not necessarily a bad thing that the game threw this curveball at me with this trouble succession crisis. <laughs> yeah, that happened. And you're coming in, are you? Well, you have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, you have fun with that. This is kind of funny. How's the uh, numbers looking in terms of casualties? Uh, they still number us significantly, but oh wow, we're actually taking a lot of casualties. Most of it is due to attrition. Makes sense. Conversion successful. Good. Uh, Mongolia is a piece of Russia. White piece. That means Russia is no longer at war with Ming. Good, probably. I don't know. France is a piece of French Canada. France will grant independence to French Canada. Oh, are we going to see Canada then? Cheap irons. That's nice. New air, not bad. I'm under attack, good. Uh, and you can go down here and go smash those armies. Come on, give me Canada. We've got Mexico ready. I want to see Canada. Okay, are we fighting in Seville? Huh? Okay, sure. Don't know how that happened. I'm barely paying attention to what's going on, am I? <sighs> Still, we're paying enough attention, and that's what's important because. I feel my army quality is to the point where I don't have to babysit every single tiny army and that's actually one of the reasons why I love quality over quantity is that you don't have to babysit every single tiny army because it won't just get smashed for no apparent reason Merchant Guild gains 10 influence Of course that's it, if you want to do a World Conquest you do have to babysit everything but obviously you can't play a World Conquest at any reasonable speed so there's that as well uh, You can just stay down here Arabia occupied more stuff, we've engaged an army, they outnumber us, doesn't matter. Hey, there's not 43 stack down here before, where did they go? Well, doesn't matter, this army has been defeated. Uh, you go here. The occupation still give war score. Not much war score, but it's, it's something. Are we going to need a lot of war score to be able to piece out the span for what we want? Which includes, of course, getting all your forts occupied. Is there any forts here? There's no forts in uh, this island here. I shouldn't know what this island's called, but I just can't remember what top of my top of my head right now. I know that's Corsica. That's Sardinia. Yes, Sardinia. Okay, blockade. I don't care. I really don't. That I care about. One could even say I don't. I don't appreciate that. Uh, you can stay down there for now. Oh, speaking of not appreciating, I am suffering a lot of attrition here. Okay, go clear up, um, go clear up this army first, then Ankara, then that, and then I'll think about what to do. Why is there random Spanish troops here? French Canada troops? Are... Wait a second, why is French Canada involved? Oh, you gotta be joking. You're allied to Portugal, aren't you? Allied to Spain. And I'm co belligerent in Spain. Oh, that's fun. And because I don't have enough war score to stop him from joining. <laughs> Great! We're now at war with Canada. Why can't we be at war with some real countries? Okay, I'm under attack in Rousselon. I mean, at least it's Canada, not France. That's why they haven't formed Canada yet. Damn it, France, you weren't supposed to lose to French Canada. 
Ah, oh, so hilarious. Oh yeah, there's a heap of Spanish land down here, isn't there? Well, that's a nuisance. That's going to drive up their war school cost. Oh well, I'm just, just going to ignore the island of Java and surrounding lands, because I cannot be bothered. Okay, what's this army? 5k, it's irrelevant. Uh, you go there, you go there. Hmm, that's a lot of Spanish. Well, a lot of, what would these people be? Brazilian, yes, Brazilian. <laughs> We've converted your only province with Yanaga to Sunni. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, nothing here is worth converting. That's fine by me. Arabia occupied something something. Great. Uh, you're going to Santa Fe. You go to Santiago de Aos Estero. Engage the enemy. Eh, that's not going to be a stack wipe. Or is it? Okay, that's a stack wipe because, well, it's rebels. So it doesn't really count. That was not a stack wipe, but we just inflict significant casualties on them and there's another army coming in. And they're not going to enjoy it. They're attacking across the river into jungles. Trading coffee. Good, I guess. We're still not top producer of it. But we're we getting there. Every little bit counts. Uh, there's a little fort up there. I might as well try to head my, uh, head my armies up there. Uh, I see there's an army right over here. Do I want my generals to die? One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm just missing a general. Oh well. You, head over here. Go wipe them. Still waiting for this fort to fall. Okay, excellent. And you just keep smashing these small armies while these guys run around and just siege on everything. Is that level 2 4 by the way? Nope, it's level 8 4. Fun times. Good. By the way, I do not appreciate your attempts at sieging down Constantinople. I can't believe it's Canadians over here in Anatolia. That's just ridiculous. I uh, love how ma our manpower is still floating strong. Oh, you're back in Ruslong, are you? Oh, good for you. Blockade. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to start spraying out this army as well. I don't know how much more colonial troops there are, but let's spray out a little bit. See if we can get more occupations quicker. I mean, obviously I can't get more occupations quicker, but I want to do it safely as well. Because I could easily split out my armies. Uh, way small, into way small stacks and just, you know, 11 stacks. Uh, Arabia Occupy something, engage the enemy, come Kylie. yeah, that's fine. Canadians. Not real people. <laughs> I'm kidding, I got nothing against Canadians. After all, we're fellow Commonwealth countries. I am a Kiwi. I don't know if I ever said that, actually. Well, you don't now. We have 23% war score. Portugal is probably not feeling too good having their capital occupied. I imagine they want peace. Soon enough. But too bad for them. They're getting nothing. Oh man, Granada's still holding strong. Never underestimate Granada. It's no sad, I've already done Granada game. But that was on normal. I haven't done Granada on a uh, very hard difficulty yet. That said, I'm not sure if I'm that keen to repeat achievements I've already done. Hmm, who's attacking me here. Oh, that not real army is attacking me. Yeah, I probably should put a leader in charge, shouldn't I? Who's leading this army? Ah, you are. Uh, Muhammad Abbas. Well, Muhammad, please get out of the army and join up with this army. Okay, you guys. Just keep spreading out. Um, you head towards here. Good, good, good. Okay, you go there. Okay. Let's have a little regret this. <clears throat> hmm, that doesn't look so good. Send some reinforcements in. Ah, Naples is finally down. Excellent. Okay. So quickly occupy all of this. And I guess I could bring them both back just to occupy those, but I mean, Spain, how are you feeling about this war? It's only minus 44. A lot less good than I was hoping. Mm, that's only a one stack, it'll be fine. 
Uh, whoops. Okay, you go there, you go there, you stay here, you stay here. That was an accident. Minimal consequences, but still. France declared on English Louisiana. They cite colonialism. Does it mean you fight England? No, because English Louisiana is independent, allied to Caldo and English West Indies. That's kind of funny. Well, maybe they'll regret their independence now. Because they're being attacked by much stronger powers with no overlord to defend them. Then again, considering France cannot even take on Canada. That's a thing as well, you know. Uh, that's a pretty big army. Okay, I'm going to have all of you stick together again. I don't fancy running into a 23 stack by accident. That could be considered somewhat painful. Okay, you guys. I'm going to see if I can cross the strait soon. So, um... I'm going to leave these two armies here anyways. I'm going to send these boats back. Uh, where's my ships? These ships can head all the way back to here. Now Spain, most of your forts are occupied. All I want is Cordoba, which is going to be Granada where we're at it. And I will need, um, I believe it was Palermo and Messina. I should double check all of this. It wasn't that many anyway. Unify Islam. I need Afni, Palermo, Messina, and Cordoba. Uh, is that it? All own provinces are Islam uh, in a Muslim religious group. Well, that's gonna be annoying. How did she have to convert these lands? Oh, well, we can do that. It's not a big deal. But give me these provinces. It's really not that damn much. Uh, what else do I want you to give me? Well, let's look colonial. So, that's J, right? For some reason. Hmm. Oh, it's I. That's it's not J. It's I. I'm just blind because of how tiny the font is. It's actually not how I fold this time. <laughs> okay, let's click on all the coffee producing provinces again. I should be allowed to take them because I have a fort. Okay. That's coffee as well, as is these three. And that. I've already clicked on that. That's cocoa. It's normal coffee at all on the west coast. It's all on the east coast because they can't. Uh, well, not they can't, but they don't spawn. Initially in South America, they only get discovered when you colonize, which sounds a little strange, but you know, that's how the game works. Let's try to link our lands up so they're not too disconnected. This way at least we and our colonial nations uh, can somewhat keep this land under control. I would hate to have to... Um, have to, uh, I don't know, take ships all over the place. Or heck, not have any kind of access at all. That would be horrible. Um, hmm. There we go. That looks pretty good. It's okay. That looks ugly as sin, but whatever. It looks good enough for my purposes. And just in case I need more coffee-producing provinces, I want a direct land connection to Dutch Columbia, which really just means one province. Although ideally, we'll be take the entire Amazon Delta. And from here onwards, I think I'll see if I can try to take a little bit more. Oh, that's going to be expensive dip wise. What a real shame. Hopefully, yeah, I don't actually have a spend on dip because it is imperialism and they are co belligerent, but we'll see. It really isn't a big deal if I do have a spend it. Uh, here, Global Naval Force March. Uh, give me the Force March costing no power. We're really not a naval power. Okay, so. Spain, Spain, where are you? Hmm, Austria's on medium now. Interesting. Also, I'm curious. French Canada, do you really want to be fighting me? But I don't think you do. Well, you're almost willing to go out. I can give you a little bit of money. Uh, how about no? <laughs> I'm not giving you cause back to Ottomans. Hell no. Okay, Spain. Let's talk peace. Peace in our time. Do I want a west coast? On the... South American continent. I don't think I particularly care about having a west coast. So again, this looks pretty good. I'll see if I'm allowed to take more. Do I really want more? Maybe just fill in some of the gaps. I'm still allowed to take quite a bit more. Uh, maybe clean up some of the borders. 
Yeah. Again, it's like, do I really care? Hmm. Well, you know what? That would do for now. I'm not going to take any more. If I really need to, I can take... Oh, wow. Of course you have 10,000 gold. Why wouldn't you have 10,000 gold? Oh, I can't take war reps from you now. Well, it's not like I need gold. And I don't care about war reps. So how about... You give me this terrible little island as a staging point for me. It's helpful, somewhat. Okay, you won't give me that stupid little island. Well, screw you too. Take whatever go I'm allowed to take, which really isn't that much. Go away. Oh man, it looks ugly. Arabian, Portuguese, Imperialist War. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's call just five provinces so we can get colonial nation going. And I'm just gonna be as cheap as possible. Okay, that didn't cost me 900 Diplo. <laughs> okay, well, I'm like 13 years ahead of Diplo Tech anyway, so it really doesn't matter too much. Okay, so let's call some nice cheap provinces, or I guess I could be nice and call at least a couple of expensive provinces for them to have a decent land so they aren't waste all their, their admin. That said, do I really care about my vassal? I mean, do I really care about my own admin? Not really. So I'm going to. And I don't actually have the colonial memo here, but I can easily grab it from over here. Okay, so this is La Plata, so I need five provinces in La Plata. So really, it's just anything around here. Wow, it's actually pretty high development, I have to say. Well, let's start with this. One, two, and yeah, let's go three, four, five, and we'll do a Rio Grande do Sul, which be a Grand River of the Sun. Santa Catarina to Curitiba, Salvecente, and Santo Amaro. It's almost like I know Portuguese or something, which I really don't. Which means, uh, apologies, uh, Portuguese viewers, because, yeah, I'm just butchering a language, as I do. Let's have one army up in the north, somewhere with supply limit, preferably, so I guess that would do. And one army down the south against some of the supply limit. Holy shit, Santa Fe has 63 supply limit. Yeah, so this army will protect the south, the army will protect the north. And let's also start conquering these provinces as well. And obviously we have to convert them. But that can be done in due time. Okay, so Spain's out. And now all we need to do is deal with Portugal. Maybe I should have also taken Gibraltar. Because now it's going to be slightly annoying. Fortune on the siege in Iskandaria. What the heck is more Canadians doing here? This world makes no sense. Okay, let's have these armies spread out. Reoccupy my Spain's renouncing his arrival, of course they did. Uh, Reoccupy my vassal's lands. And then I'll send an army down here and deal with this joker. Hess, I said a piece of Trier. Okay, my boats were somewhere around here coming back home. Hmm. The Portuguese removed your fort in Quita. What an idiot. Well, I mean, to be fair, they probably felt it was safe. Still, what an idiot. Uh, you come to Granada. I need not much from the Portuguese. I could probably just piece them out right now. So what do we need again? We need this. So I might as well grab the whole coastline. Just cause. And they won't say, they won't say yes because I don't have any forts. Colonialism. Yes. Well, Portugal has no colonies down here at all. Instead, they decided to spend the whole game colonizing Africa, or West Africa at least. And I guess bits of East Africa is a thing as well. Is the Portuguese army here? There is indeed a Portuguese army here. Eh, they can do whatever they feel like. I don't care. How's our unrest memo look like? Still a lot greener than I was expecting. I was expecting to see a lot of red. Uh, I said rebel somewhere. I didn't really pay attention. I kind of clicked away. Oh, eh, revolutionaries, not my problem. Okay, you, go start siege down Fez, which was actually a really horrible fort to siege down. Oh, and I can't cross the strait. That's okay, my boats, navies. Revolt, ooh, Arabian coffee, excellent. And Greek separatists. Because of course there's Greek separatists. Why wouldn't there be? Well, all that's left is unify Arabia. Nice and simple. Nice 
and simple. What a freaking mess. <sighs> Engage the enemy in somewhere, somewhere. Cool. They didn't get to occupy, which is good. Uh, all of you get to over here so I can organize you properly. It's such a mess. Hey, Canada, you want out? Still no. Okay, well, you know, we're getting there. Okay, this is not a full army. That's a remnants. Neither is this. Mm, go stand here, it's more central. Name's under attack. Yeah. I may not have the quality of ships. I may not have naval ideas in my idea set or in my um, actual ideas I took. Natural ideas, that is. But I do have a lot of ships. And they may not be great ships, but they're good enough. Skill in Granada, will you? And let's have the reinforcements stand by. Portugal occupied longer. I don't care about any of this West African land, really. Although I certainly won't mind expanding my Zanzibar trade node. Although there is this annoying Mozambique and Ibo in the way, which means I can't actually make it contiguous without having to go inland. A real shame, really. Oh well, it's really, really minor. At this point, all I need is one province from Portugal, which please tell me they have not converted. Of course they've converted it. <sighs> Why wouldn't they have converted it? Bastards. No, of course I cannot care less about this land down here. Hmm. I wonder if someone has course here. Morocco it does. Of course Morocco does. Not these ones though. Hmm. I was taking myself, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh short about overextension. Hmm. These problems actually cause overextension. Interesting. Of course I've also been thinking about <coughs> Constantinople has peasants, of course it does. Okay, uh, let's split you up into a standard army. You guys could deal with the peasants. Uh, you turn to the standard army. Rise to support of one of the people. I was about to say something before I got distracted. I can't quite remember what it was. Uh, new Dalvisiris noble rebel. Why wouldn't they? Well, go deal with Constantinople first and come back over here. But yeah, I was about to say something. I wish I could remember what I was about to say. There's this thing about playing the game and then, you know, actually letting the game run while I can't try and say stuff is... Something happens, takes my attention away, then I forget what I was about to say. And unlike a normal conversation where the other person can remind you, oh, by the way, uh, you're talking about this. You can't do that when you're talking to, well, a microphone, I guess. Oh, French Canada was white peace. Goodbye, Canada. And now we can probably see Canada for real. A uh, fortress and siege is kind of real, that's nice. Come on, Canada, you can do this. Become Canada. Uh, that's nice, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Canada is now Canada. <laughs> uh, wow, fast went down fast. Surprising, too. Okay, well. See if we can go to Sus. Or South. And you guys, go take over all of this. Uh, protesting somewhere. Don't care. I see a noble rebels. Okay. Well, let's actually see what piece that we can grab. <clears throat> Just your coastline. I don't want any of your mainland provinces. They mean nothing to me. I really should have taken this province here of uh, Gibraltar. It will make walking through these provinces so much easier. Uh, give me Fez as well. The reason I want Fez is because it's got a fort on it. And uh, while we're talking about forts, give me all of this. They all have beautiful forts on that. Eh, you can keep that one. I think you can keep that one as well. I can my forts. Makes it nice and easy to, to keep this place under control. Um, do I want anything else from you? Not really. I would like you to break up your relationship with Spain, to be honest, but honestly, does it really matter? No. Hmm, how about you keep that fort? Mm, maybe not. You know what? Screw it, I don't care. 
Just give me one more province, or two. Okay, just one more province. There. No one should be angry, really. Okay, Portuguese are angry, but no one cares about them. 